Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor, owner of Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida, and today I want to show you through one of the most popular Coachman Catalinas that we uh, have in stock. It's the 321 BHDS CK SBX model. Let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside. Okay, let's go ahead and begin our tour here on the inside. Uh, this is a 2017 321 BHDS CK. Now this is a Catalina SBX. The SBX is a uh, slightly de-optioned Catalina. Uh, they take off, a, I'm going to estimate about uh, 800 to $1,000 worth of, uh, of options or, or, or um, equipment, but you save uh, maybe a couple of thousand dollars. So they're a really good bargain. Uh, they're still a very loaded up trailer, lots of goodies on them. Uh, so what we're going to do in this tour is I'm going to show you around the 321 uh, and I'm going to point out some of the features that it has and uh, you'll see just how much you're getting for the money with this trailer. Uh, it's definitely not stripped down by any means uh, and where we're starting out back here is in the uh, is in the bunk bedroom. Uh, this is a 35 foot 10 inch long trailer. That's from the hitch to the bumper. That's the whole outside uh, of the trailer. Uh, the floor, the box itself is, is, is 32 uh, feet. Uh, this one weighs 7,690 pounds empty. Uh, it's got a 9,500 pound gross. We have this one equipped in the fawn color scheme and uh, we'll go ahead and take a walk around. We got two slide outs on the 321 and this floor plan is by far our most popular popular um, uh, bunk bed floor plan. Uh, in the normal Catalina line, it's the 323 BHDSCK. Uh, in the SBX line, it's the 321. And what you end up with is you've got this really nice bunk bed right here. You can actually raise this up out of the way uh, during the day if you're not using it. They got the teddy bear cover on the bunk, which is very, very soft. Uh, down here, we have our Coa Cube futons. Uh, these are, uh, you can move the backs around whichever way you want and these lift up and fold out and make a really comfortable sleeping area so you can sleep one person here a couple of people down here and then over here we have yet another bunk uh, with the same teddy bear cover on it uh, we've got room here for a television uh, electronics things like that you've got some cabinetry uh, you've got a ladder that stows uh, in this little compartment so you just pull that out and you can access that top bunk. Kids absolutely love these bunk bedrooms. They they just really fall in love with it. Got a curtain to block off the uh, the area and give a little privacy. You've got hanging storage up above and a cabinet down below right here. Uh, you do have vinyl Congolium vinyl floor throughout the trailer. It is um, a really pretty wood grain look, so it looks like wood plank flooring. Gives you a nice high end look. Uh, we've got our thermostat right here and our slide control room for the bunk bed or slide control for the for the bunk bed slide. Um, we do upgrade all of the air conditioners here because we're in Florida. We upgrade them to 15K, uh, 15,000 BTU um, uh, air conditioners, so you do have that nice upgraded air conditioner. You can see we got a nice big U-shaped dinette right here. You can drop this down and this makes a, a sleeping area that's something uh, larger than a twin bed and a little smaller than a full-size bed, but a full-size adult would be very comfortable right there. Um, coming on up here, we have a a sofa. Uh, again, this is the fawn color scheme. This is a nice uh, fabric, kind of almost like a maybe a tweed. Uh, this will flip flop out and, and pull out to make sleeping right there. Uh, for 2016, Coachman went to uh, pleated shades uh, and they followed through with that on the 2017. So you've got the nice upgraded pleated shades in here. Uh, over here, we have um, our entertainment system area. Uh, you got room here to put a television. You've got some storage up at the top with some decorative glass inserts. You've got your uh, CD player right here, which is really neat. Uh, you can actually pipe this sound 
into the interior speakers or out to the outside and you do have hookups over here so the output of your television can go into that and you'll get something like surround sound in here. It's not true surround sound but you'll be able to amplify the speakers and get a louder sound than your TV speakers. Over here we have our, uh, our kitchen. Uh, we've got a nice big double bowl sink with a uh, nickel high-rise faucet. Uh, we got our three burner cooktop with a range right here so you can uh, you can bake in here. Up above we have a microwave oven and we got our range hood. All of the countertops in here as well as the dining table are a thermofoil countertop. Now the big plus with thermofoil is it's completely waterproof. Coachman spent quite a bit of money uh, a few years ago to make the switch to thermofoil. And the alternative is a laminate countertop with a T-molding. What happens with that T-molding is you get a little bit of water in that and it will swell up your uh, your countertop and it'll look terrible if you ever get water on it. But this is ap actually completely waterproof and you will never have that problem. They hold up more like a solid surface countertop. Back here we have a Norcold double door refrigerator. Uh, we've actually got some storage area up above that. I'm going to go ahead and show you the bathroom and then we'll backtrack to go into the bedroom. But the bathroom is a neat feature on this. Uh, we've, got a, we've got our uh, sink over here. We've got a full uh, bathtub and a shower over here with a nice uh, pretty shower curtain. You've got your toilet here, but this is the really cool feature. You've got an extra entry door right here leading out onto the porch. So the kids don't have to track through the whole trailer in order to come use the bathroom. If you're out on the uh, if you're out on the porch, you can just come right in through that door. So that's a really nice feature. A lot of families really really like that. Uh, we'll end up our tour. I'll backtrack here just a little bit and take us into the bedroom. Now this is the master bedroom. What we have in here is a couple of cabinets over here with hanging storage. We've got a shelf up above. We do have um, storage underneath the bed right here. Uh, we, you, we keep our 30 amp cord down below there. Um, and also, uh, Coachman does the same teddy bear fabric now on the uh, queen bed right here. So it's got that really nice fabric on it, which is very soft. And this is a foam mattress, which is actually far more comfortable than a, an inexpensive inner spring mattress, uh, which a lot of times you get a really cheap mattress uh, in a trailer. And uh, even a very expensive trailer, you'll get a really cheap mattress that you just have to toss out. But this is actually very comfortable. Uh, you do have a comforter with it. It's a re reversible comforter, either tan or dark brown. So that's basically the inside of the trailer. Uh, you can see it's it's got a ton of uh, bang for the buck. Uh, it's definitely not stripped down and we have even more features to show you on the outside. So let's go ahead and continue our tour out there. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour here on the outside of the trailer. We're going to start here at the back. Uh, this would be the bunk bedroom behind here. The reason I'm going to start back here is it's everybody's favorite part of this, uh, this floor plan. It's got the large exterior camp kitchen. Um, so what you've got back here is a nice big mini fridge. Um, it's really a good size mini fridge. You've got the same quality cabinets as you have in inside the trailer. You've got out here all of this nice storage up here. And uh, one nice thing about the cabinetry on the Catalina is this is uh, solid wood of course on the doors, but all of the styles of the cabinets are made out of a product called Lumbercore. So although you do have a uh, uh, not a true veneer on the face of the wood, uh, it actually has a core of solid uh, wood. It's not press board all the way through. So if it ever does get wet, it's not going to fall apart like a like a like a press board only cabinet. Uh, it's going to be quite a bit better quality. Um, we got the same thermofoil countertops that we have on the inside uh, out here. You've got your own sink out here with the same high rise. Uh, 
nickel finish uh, hardware. This has its own storage tank, so this sink has its own gray water tank uh, that you can uh, you can uh, run that water into. So you know that's that's kind of nice. You've got that extra capacity. Over here we have a Coleman grill that's uh, right in here, and this stows back out of the way when you're not using it, with, and it secures with some snaps right there. We've got a couple of drawers out here. Uh, all the drawers on the Coachman Catalina are solid wood, inside and out. There is no press board uh, in any of these cabinets. This is all uh, a plywood type construction, so it's a really nice quality cabinet, especially for the uh, price range that the SBX falls into. Uh, coming just far, uh, just a little bit forward of the um, of the exterior camp kitchen, I will, I'll go ahead and close this down so you can see what that looks like. That door actually acts as a uh, as a shield for you if it's raining or sunny. Uh, it you can actually stand under that while you're using it. Uh, coming back from that, this is that second entry door that goes into the bathroom. You got your triple step right there. We've got, of course, the platinum exterior metal uh, on all the Catalinas. Very, very pretty exterior metal. You've got a black um, uh, bottom skirting with a kind of a charcoal and then a silver and then all of your striping is a combination of black white silver it gives you this overall um, platinum color scheme the the wheels um, are an e-coat wheel in other words the this is not just a painted wheel they actually dip that wheel down into an e-coat material so you have no gaps in that coverage what that means to you and where the rubber meets the road so to speak pun intended is that that wheel will not will not uh, rust as badly as a as a as a uh, painted just a standard painted wheel so far uh, of all the Catalinas we've sold and we've ever seen come back here for maintenance or anything I've never seen any of these actually get rusty they tend to hold up very very well this is the back side of our refrigerator Right here's our water heater. It runs on, on uh, not only propane, but it does have an electric switch in there so you can heat your water from two sources of power. Here's your main entry door uh, going into the living room. Uh, coming up from that, we've got a storage compartment here, and this is a full pass-through storage. It goes all the way through to the other side, uh, so that is really nice. you got plenty of storage in there. Coming up to the front, this one is uh, equipped with the 30 gallon LP gas tanks. Uh, we equip these with 30 gallon because it comes with a cover. The standard 20 gallon uh, on the SBX um, does not ship with a cover, so we've added that feature on. You've got your tongue jack right here, and uh, we do equip every one of them with a spare tire. And I just realized that I forgot one of the main um, one of the main features of the Catalina SBX on the outside we have a power awning. You just touch a button and the awning's going to come out. So again, that's a very, very nice feature. Not a stripped down trailer at all. Uh, the price of this trailer is just offers a ton of bang for the buck. Uh, give us a call. We'll go over that with you. We've got the best prices around on our stuff. and. Um, uh, we'll end up our tour here on this side. You can see the nice big deep slide outs on this side. We've got two of them. And uh, just that's, uh, you know, like I said, this is the most popular floor plan that we have in the bunk beds. We sell more of the 321s and the 323s than any other floor plan here at Highway RV. So if you have any questions, give us a call. Our number at Highway RV is 863-956-1036. Six. My name's Brian, but whoever answers the phone would be glad to help you. Another way that you can stay connected with Highway RV is to click subscribe on the Facebook uh, on our Facebook page. If you're watching this video on Facebook, just push the subscribe button. Not Facebook on YouTube. I'm sorry. Click the subscribe button, and every time we film a new video, you'll get a notification that we filmed a new video, and that's a great way to keep up with our inventory. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook at our Highway RV Facebook page and uh, we uh, we hope that uh, there's uh, 
that, that this video has been helpful to you. We try to do these so that you can do uh, the shopping in the comfort of your, of your home. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and again, I hope it's been helpful. You have a great day, and God bless.